Go to T-Bird next, up at Lima. Way back deep for the Indians is Donovan Milson and Delbert Baker. Don't Silva tees it up at his own 40. Pretty good crowd on hand across the way, although the Indians are 0-4. They have brought some folks over here. These two ball clubs, when they get together, it's getting more like that hamilton Lakota rivalry. Pretty intense. And we are waiting right now for what? I don't know. Officials are conferring on the far side now. We seem to be ready. That's Jeremy Roy back deep. Delbert Baker is not back there this week for the Indians. The ever-changing Fairfield lineup. And Silva still waiting on the whistle. Jeremy Roy and Donovan Milton standing at about their own five-yard line. Get down in three point stance across their front line and their kickoff team. Silva gets an excellent leg into it. Jeremy Moore picks it off at his own two. Across the 10. He's across the 15. Has a seam. 25. 30. And uh, check that. 25 yard line knocked down at the 27. So a good return by Jeremy Roy taking that ball inside his five at his two and returns it out to about the 27. A 25 yard return for the Indians. Yes, he got some very good blocking and he stayed behind his blockers. Good effort that time by the Fairfield Indians as they try to get something going offensively. By the way, Chris Van Wagner limped off the field for the Lakota T-Birds as uh, he was hurt just a bit. Lit backfield behind the junior quarterback, John Matthews. It is Lionel Roberts and Donovan Milton. Actually, Milton split wide to the left side. This is Martin with the football, and Martin has a pretty good hole, right tackle, and takes it across the 30-yard line and is brought down at the 34. Nice pickup for the Indians. They'll give him seven on the play. It'll be second down and three. Kyle Jordan and Brian Brad Chandler in on the tackle that time for the Lakota T-Birds. Brian Hobbs, I'll tell you, it's not surprising him not being in the starting lineup, Jerry. He's been banged up all season long. He's taken a beating. Donovan Milton once again split wide to the left. It is a quick pitch to Lionel Roberts. Gets a couple of blocks and now will drag a player with him. And it looks as if he has the first down coming near side of the field here at Lakota. Wait to see if they give it to him. It's very close. They may have to bring out the six. No, He's got it. it to him. Good job that time. He knew exactly how much he needed. A little bit of hesitation on Robert's part in the backfield, but he was simply looking for a hole. He found it, and he got the necessary yardage. Some good blocking on that interior line by the Indians, and we have an official's timeout. And once again, guess what we have? Equipment problems. I'll tell you what, he bent down. The player for the Indians looks like Martin. And contact. found his contact yes. in the grass. That's amazing. <laughs> I mean, it's wow. Tough. It's tough to find it on a basketball court, but that's the first time I've ever witnessed anyone. It's Jason Grant, the fullback tonight. That's the first time I've witnessed any football player find a contact in the grass. That guy has some vision. I feel a pass right here, Terry. Donovan Milton has Tico Williams now who has checked into the game, and Tico immediately gets the call, and he is stacked up by a couple of Lakota defenders, uh, namely Lamont Smith, I believe, was the guy that got to him first. And then maybe uh, his brother Keith Smith took a shot at him also. Well, you can't keep running that running play. That's what I said. I saw the pass coming on. I think uh, Ben Hubbard needs to mix it up a little bit. Jason Grant will check back into the game, going to the bench for the Indians. It'll be Brian Hopton and Tico Williams. Lionel Roberts will come wide to the near side of the field. Tied in to the left and to the right side. Actually, Roberts was a flanker back, and they run off tackle, and they'll pick up, and it looks to be about a seven, maybe eight taking it out near the 45-yard line. Back they'll mark it right at the 45. That's a pickup of six, so it's third down and four for Fairfield. They've tried to run a wide a couple of times and really not had a whole lot of success. They've been uh, pretty successful on tackle. Yes, they have. Keith Smith in on the initial hit that time for the T-Birds. Good job. Two tight ends of the game and a full house backfield for the Indians. John Matthews, the, this is his first start of the 91 season. Long count by the Tribe, and they hand it off up inside. That is Jason Grant at the fullback, and he is near midfield, brought down at about the 48, maybe well, they are going to mark it back at the 47. He is shy of the first down. 
but not by a whole lot, and they'll have to take a look at it. Lamont Smith in on the initial hit by the T-Birds, but he had a whole lot of help that time. Just a beautiful night for football here in this uh, final Friday in September. It's definitely getting to be that time of year, that uh, crisp, cool night. Last night we had one of them at 37 degrees. Actually, 37 degrees. Oh, worse. look at that. Well, was they are short by inches, by an inch or less. And I would think the Indians would go for it. When you're 0-4, you, gosh, you, you certainly don't want to punt it away. you got to make something happen. Yeah, that's what you exactly got to do. Right. Fire your team up and get a little momentum going early in this football game. The Indians on fourth down will go for it at their own 47-yard line here in the first quarter. And keeping the football will be the quarterback, John Matthews, and he is up at midfield and has the first down. The clock is right now stopped at 8.51 left here in the first quarter. And this is the first possession by either ball club. The Indians took a kickoff, and returning it was Jeremy Roy from his own two out to the 25. And now the Indians have moved to 25 yards, picking up three first downs to midfield. They picked that first down up rather easily. Once again, two tight ends in a full house backfield. The fullback is Jason Grant, and Grant will get the call. He has hit at the line of scrimmage, but then bounces off and will make it down to the 47 of Lakota. The man that he dragged that time with him just a bit was Rich Renner at 176, a junior for the T-Birds. So he did a good job of getting some additional yardage with a T-Bird hanging on his arm. The T-Birds, of course, two and two, one and one in the GMC. They opened up the season and got thumped pretty good by Elder at 35 to nothing right here on their home turf. Then they came back and beat Colonel White 41 to 19. They lost the middle town, but who hasn't lost to the midi?